Hello friends, it's Tay Hani. I rarely make these types of videos, usually when I have a client or a friend or whoever. If I have a misunderstanding between me and another person, it's usually not a big deal. But in this case, I do have to say something and I do have to defend myself. Usually it's not worth it, but it has gotten so out of hand that I feel that this is something I need to address. It's, I mean, thank God it's been 10 years, 10 effing years since I've been doing this. So I deal with these things very differently. I mean, 10 years ago, I would have freaked out and been upset about it. But the fact is a person who had not paid his booking deposit and strung me along and made me lose a whole lot of money for a quote unquote supposed charitable cause uh, decided to threaten me and not only threaten me, but you know, send some ugly reviews online and really try his level best to slander me, which is fine, which he has every right to it. But when you make false claims, it's very upsetting. Uh, his claim that I have been incredibly unprofessional uh, is kind of laughable, considering that I had to hunt him down just to get him to pay us for the work that we did. And not only did he pay it late, he, uh, we had to hunt him down for it. And we not only did everything on the invoice and then some, but he did not read any of our logistical information. He did not respond to any of the prep that we do for big events. He didn't respond to anything. So we were basically working with nothing. I was not hired to do event planning for him. I was hired to bring the entertainment. Uh, event planning is something very different from what I was hired for. And so, yeah. He's basically upset with me for not doing a job that I was not paid for. That was his job. So enough about that. But the point is, uh, it, is it has come to my attention that somebody is horrendous, like horrendously slandering me. And that's fine. It's, it's kind of funny considering everyone knows what a shady character he is. Um, but yeah, I have a shit ton of reviews online, on Thumbtuck. I have an amazing track record and... I think for someone who is A, a world champion dancer, B, in the top three Reiki masters in LA County, C, an international performer booked regularly, D, made a living off of this for the past 10 years because of my amazing track record. I mean, I did a show just last week where, you know, a friend of mine said, you are the epitome of safety. You are insured on all levels. You are you know, you are very by the book, you're very professional, you're always on top of stuff. This person, you know, <laughs> uh, obviously uh, is trying desperately to hurt me by his comments, but, uh, you know, it happens, and it's unfortunate. I mean, I don't have any Yelp reviews, just this one particular person, and, you know, I would respond, but it's, it's really not worth it. I mean, for a person who didn't read any of the logistical information I sent, and need to confirm, didn't confirm anything, I mean, of course, um, of course I, of course he's confused. I'm like, this is how we do things, this is how we're gonna do it, and I cannot move forward until you pay us our booking deposit, which he didn't do, and so there was no time for prep, but we made it happen anyways. Everyone was there, everyone did amazingly well, everything was fully insured, everyone had a great time, and I'm pretty much the only entertainment that he booked for that day that actually made it. And so to accuse me of not doing event planning very well is laughable because I wasn't hired for fucking event planning. Excuse my language, I wasn't hired for that shit. I was hired to provide the entertainment. If I were to do the event planning, I would have charged them way more because that takes a lot more energy. Um, took a lot of time and energy for me just to deal with all the changes and everything, but we still made it happen. Despite me losing money, paying everybody in advance and having to hunt him down for money and paying late fees with, you know, talent, blah, 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 blah. So the punchline is, you know, you can't, you can't let these things get you down. You can't let people attempt to take you down. But you know, there comes a time when it gets, if it gets really bad, I think it's important to respond. Uh, I don't think it's worth it to respond to this person, but I did feel that I needed to, you know, get this out there. If anyone sees that review, you know, do know that there are verifiable <laughs> reviews from museums, such as the Scribbling Museum from universities, you know, Cal State Long Beach, from uh, high-end clients, from corporate clients. I mean, I just did a thing for Fireball Whiskey and they're really happy too. So, I mean, really, really, are we, are we, is it really at that point where you're just so upset that your event 
didn't make as much money as he wanted as he wanted it to which has nothing to do with me I was not in charge of promotion I was not in charge of any of that my only job was to bring entertainment which we did uh, so you know someone who's just really upset about their own failures should not be projecting on me cuz you know I have a pretty damn good track record and you know I'm pretty well known in um, our circles so uh, if any of you, um, if you want to do me a solid, because I love you guys so much and I've been in business because of your awesomeness, um, if any of you have worked with me in the past and um, if I have your permission to take some of your testimonials that you sent me via email, that are on my website, that are on Thumbtack, that are on all the other sites I'm on, or on any of the rosters I'm on, or any of the libraries I've done over the years, um, if I have your permission, um, I would like to add those onto. I mean, I don't have a Yelp page. That's like the one and only uh, <laughs> Yelp uh, review I have. But um, I am a top pro on Thumbtack for a reason. I am the top 4% of service providers there. I am a world champion for a reason. I'm booked all year for a reason because I really care about my, my clients. And I care about, you know, I really care about making sure I meet everyone's expectations and then some. So even though this person did not meet his expectation, um, it was supposedly a charitable event and I decided I want to do it anyways, but otherwise I wouldn't have done it. Uh, so that's that. I think the moral of the story is, I'm sorry, this is mostly just a rant, but the moral of the story is do not let people pick on you. I mean, some people are not worth responding to, like this person, you know, not worth it. Um, not worth the drama not worth the energy, but I did want to take it upon myself to respond and to let everybody know. If you see that review, that's some bullshit, okay? <laughs> like, that's some total bullshit. You have, you know, it's, you have every right to, you know, think I'm crazy or unprofessional, but please take a look at my other, I have hundreds of reviews over the past 10 years, 10 years that I've been doing this, and um, I'm more than happy to share those with you more than happy to direct you to a shit ton of references on so many in, in so many different venues and sectors and what I do has so many different applications I mean I it's just really sad when people really go out of their way to try to tear you down and I'm just not going to stand for it so I just want to say you know I know not only my worth but I know that I have a deep 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 fucking level of integrity so if anybody wants to challenge me on that, like, <laughs> I dare you to call me on it because really I have never, ever, ever <laughs> uh, done anything close to what he's accusing me of. So that's that. I'm not responding to him. I'm not, I'm not even like going to call Yelp and try to remove it. I, I know my work. So uh, if any of you are looking for info on my work check my website check my reviews check every other website I'm on um, and if you see a really funky ass review on Yelp which I'm not gonna respond to uh, and you have worked with me I do invite you to uh, to respond about how your experience was with me and if it wasn't great you know fine you know please say so but I I mean I implore all of my clients to tell me if there's anything they're upset with I am happy to fix it and then some um, but I haven't had any of those complaints, um, nothing close to it in 10 years. Um, we're always, always, always delivering, and then some we're always fully insured, we're always very professional, and I only hire amazing people on my team. And please check them out on my website. They're fucking amazing, they're great, and I stand behind them, and I defend them, and they're fucking awesome. I love my people, and so, um, yeah. If I had to take the heat for people at my event, I will do it because I, it's my responsibility. I love, I, I vouch for them. I vouch for myself and, uh, that's it. That's my rant. I'm, I think I'm done ranting. <laughs> I love you guys. Have an amazing night. And, uh, if you have any reviews that I have permission to share on Yelp, I mean, I, I don't know if I care about Yelp so much, but maybe I should, um, invite people to put reviews on there. All my reviews are on other sources, but, um, if it's important, I'll do it, but um, my track record really does speak for itself. One person out of thousands of events over, God, over more than a decade, you know, even before I started Dancing Tejone Entertainment, um, you know, I think speak for themselves. So um, if you do have a review for me, please uh, 
let me know um, if I have permission to share it on Yelp because I would like to. Um, I do have pages and pages and pages of um, reviews and I, you know, I like to share the love. I like, you know, it does help me as a small business owner. It does help me, um, you know, not only vouch for myself, but the amazing people I hire. So thank you again for listening to my rant and um, supporting my business. Love you guys. And um feels good to um hmm, to connect with and to give attention and energy to the people who matter. And those are people like you. And um lesson learned. <laughs> I can't wait to see uh how well um this person's events go next year because um he won't have someone to do the work and um yeah good for him sorry that was slightly bitter but yeah it's it's very annoying you know I'm very annoyed but um it's neither here nor there have an amazing night thank you again for being so supportive and again if you have any reviews let me know thanks so much